in the following lecture we're going to talk about evaporation and we're going to discuss uh, evaporation with respect to kinetic particle theory so uh, evaporation occurs uh, when a liquid changes into gaseous state so for example I have liquid water particles over here in liquid state these particles are uh, slipping and sliding past each other they are energetic but not enough energetic to overcome the intermolecular forces that are attracting the particles together so so the particles are sticking to each other but they are randomly moving about uh, slipping and sliding past each other but they're not moving freely in all directions so the forces of attraction between the particles is still very strong now evaporation occurs at the surface when some of the particles that become energetic they're able to overcome the uh, the strong forces of attraction intermolecular forces and they're able to escape in gaseous state and they are able to move freely and uh, they change into gas so this is what evaporation is it's a surface phenomena so I've written this down uh, uh, this is describing liquid state that particles can slip and slide past each other and they have relatively strong intermolecular forces so these particles are sticking around but they can randomly slip and slide and over here in gaseous state uh, particles can move freely in all directions and they have relatively weak intermolecular forces so they're not attracting each other very strongly reason being that they're more energetic uh, so these particles are more energetic uh, we must add that as well so hence they're able to overcome those intermolecular forces and they're able to stay as far away from each other as possible so I'm going to try and describe evaporation now so the first thing that happens is that particles in liquid state so this is liquid state and uh, they're able to gain energy and the reason these particles are able to gain energy is due to random collisions or from the environment so these particles in liquid state they are colliding and slipping and sliding past each other so some particles might gain energy plus um, uh, there might be sunlight present so they might they, they they would be they would probably be an external source of energy or they can gain energy from the environment so so some of the particles can become very very energetic and when they become energetic now these energetic particles on the surface so these energetic particles on the surface uh, they are able to overcome the, inter the strong intermolecular forces and they are able to escape as gas so the surface particles in liquid state that have enough energy to overcome the intermolecular forces uh, can escape and break away from the liquid state and change into gaseous state and they are able to move freely around so so this is what evaporation is it's a surface phenomena where particles in the liquid states a few of the particles in liquid state that have gained enough energy are able to overcome the intermolecular forces and they're able to escape uh, in gaseous state and are able to move freely around